enemy has drawn first blood. Arr, me Arties, like come back soon after the pilot. The new champion Anara Ainara is finally in the PTS, not in the live servers, but I would ex accept her to be coming very soon. Yeah, you saw all of this in like other types of videos where they showcase Anara, but Today I'm going to be on This is my domain. I guess give you my, my opinion on her. I like I I would expect her to be quite good and like she can build a wall to block off damage. She has early guard to like reduce the damage taken from I am besieged. I would like it. Those who defile the land shall meet their end. Um, I want to like explain like what would happen if she actually came into the life circle. Sure, she would be a lot of fun and be a must pick in most games. That's because they just spam click and try to get Ainara, but let's, let's, let's be serious. If, what can, like, would she be good? Well, that would be a story, that would be a story for another day, however, I better get my sound down, it's very loud. Perfect. But if she stops going on the automatic pick, would she be good? Sure, her ultimate could be. Sure, her ultimate could be a setup, and her wall can block a lot of stuff like any kind of bullet. Um, and there's even a card where it knocks you up, so like that's really extremely helpful for escaping and some verticality too. So yeah. Okay, so let me talk about her skill. She her weapon is a three burst fire, which is good, but not the best weapon. Sure, it, if you miss some bullets, you technically rocks. If you miss some rocks, you can still hit that target and you won't be losing damage, but on a card like Haven, each pellet of rocks will decrease the damage by 7%, meaning you won't be doing as much damage as a Shaolin, which um, actually, yeah, because like 100% of Shaolin is a Thousand and the uh, hundred percent of Ainara is some math six hundred and seventy five and six hundred seventy five on um, each pellet decreasing by seven percent. Yeah, um, you get the math. I might be totally wrong, but don't blame me because I am terrible at math. Next stop. Virgin Guard, you are in a defensive state and you take 50% less damage, I'm pretty sure it's that. Oh, 30%. Oh, it's only with the legendary card. Um, so this, it's definitely sustained. And, hold up, let's check. It also, you and your deployable, so your wall and your totem will be taking decreased damage will which we'll get to soon enough. Um so yeah it's definitely sustained but how much sustain? Like fifty percent damage assured if you are against a Shaolin you you only take five hundred damage. An enemy is annihilating. And you're not even slow and you can attack. However the duration might be a downfall, but out of all of her teammates, out of all of her, she, out of all of her kids, 
this is has to be probably the best one. Not saying that our other abilities are bad and all, but hey. Next ability, Q. What was this ability called again? Oh, impasse. So basically, you create a wall. Uh, so yeah, basically you create a wall. So it might be useful. My only downfall is that your teammates can also not shoot through, nor the and the enemy can do damage to it. So it basically. But um, I didn't test this. But if you actually shoot the wall, will it give all charge? Because if it's actually like that, it'll be a huge struggle. You're get basically giving them free all charge. I doubt it, but still, it's a good science experience experiment to test out. Oh, it can also be good for some verticality, and it could be your escape. Not that the app is not an escape. Actually, it's not an escape, so don't even try using F as an escape because this is way better. Wow, I actually caught him with there. Next ability! Or, or the card again. Warden's Field. You place down a totem that slows them, and with a legendary card, can actually cripple. It does a fair amount of damage, and it can be not likely, but used as a set up. But 60%, that's actually quite big. So yes, it could be used as a setup. It almost yeah, it definitely stopped a pit from getting any farther than here. So yeah, this is probably one of the better abilities that she has. Um problem is uh how much health does it have? Uh hold up. Let's see. Uh I can tell. Hold up, let's do some science. Oh, by the way, you can destroy your the clothes by pressing the same button that you that you spawn them with. So let's do it. So okay, so one of her one of her arrows did. Uh, let me just check. About six. About 700 or something. Let's see how many it is. So it doesn't have the most health, but it still has a decent amount. More than I ever expected. Next up, ultimate. Let me just go here. Unfortunately, there are no cards that can increase her moving speed. I thought there would be one where if you are the guard, you'll get a bonus speed, but there's not. Which. I could have made an escape with that, which is very unfortunate. Unfortunate. Her ultimate, uh, se se seismic crash. You throw your spear you are not and say your phrase, and then it stuns them all for two seconds. Probably the best of the parts, but. That's time to cast. I do have a strategy for it. So, which can delay your damage, um, make them kinda coward. Make your enemy kinda coward. And probably, uh, I don't think great strategy, but still, it's an idea. So basically, what do you do? Um, let me just get my ultimate. Good. Now. You place a wall. They don't know. You af last second after you destroy your oh, um, let me explain this. I get ready to throw my spear. Once I almost throw my spear, I put down my wall and um they get hit. Um every damage that was coming to me would be inflect inflicted by this wall and uh, I take zero damage, um but as soon as it goes down, I throw my spear and they're stunned, so they basically do zero damage to me and my teammates behind my wall. And um, I basically stun them, which will practically just stun them, and then my team can go in and kill them. 
And she also says a phrase where it's like, Attack now, friends! So yeah. Kinda good strategy. I don't, don't, I don't think it will be very effective, but... Hey! It's better than nothing. I couldn't actually test her in game because some people don't go to the PTS. Uh, uh <coughs> oh yeah. I think I know will be a um, how should I explain this? A decent tank. I mean front tank. However, because of her wall not being an actual words. I don't know. I don't think it's because of that, but. Because you can't shoot through the wall, I think she won't be as good as Fernando's shield where my teammates can actually shoot through it. But nonetheless, it couldn't be a good escape for my team. So like I earn guard my wall and then we run away and then um we go to safety and then come back full health. So yeah, not bad. Although it does have a cooldown on, it has a cooldown on when it actually casts and when it does not. Like, see, um, I set my wall up so I have a one and a half delay before it actually casts. So you have to be quite early on your placing wall, but seriously, it's more than worth it. You get so much escape. And um, with that card that I just mentioned, where if you put it down, it will knock you up like 60 units. It, it can be a very vertical ID weapon, um, ability, I may add. Uh, so yeah. Anara, my conclusion? Pretty good. Pretty good. Better than I would have ever expected. However, I am no pro, so I can't really tell. What can I say though? Her ultimate is quite good. It's a great setup, probably one of the best next to Eevee. But, yeah. Enemy is time just have to tell. I mean, time will just have to tell. Actually, is that the right thing? I'm pretty sure it is. So, yeah. I was a little bit early on the wall destroying, but still. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and yes, until the next, we meet at the next see, I shall see you guys next time. Actually, next to my wall. See you guys then. Goodbye. Arr.